Hello again, everyone. I'm Jay Ball, product manager with Seco Solid Carbide. A lot of you that know me know that I'm a hard milling guy. Mold and dye is kind of my uh, niche. I've been working in it for a long time. I'm really, really, truly excited today to bring to you a new product offering for Miabro. Uh, we're getting back into the hard milling. We're actually introducing three new geometries to this family. So a lot of you might have used what was called the JH111, the JH141, and the JHF180 in years past. We've completely changed these geometries now, so we've got the new JH112, the JH142, and the JHF181. So what we do with these tools is we change the carbide substrate, we change the coating, we change the geometry, and we also change the tolerance. So we did four major things with these tools to bring the performance uh, up to the market standards actually exceeding market standards in some aspects as well. So the first thing I want to talk about is the coating. The coating is a new patented technology from Yabro. It's called Hard XT, and it's actually a silicon-based coating. Now, some of you might be wondering, why are you guys using a silicon-based coating for hard milling, Jay? Well, the reason why we do that is because that coating actually has a high thermal and abrasion resistance. So you're machining some of these tool steels that are 60-plus Rockwell. You're, you have to have that thermal barrier, and you have to have the abrasion resistance. So that's why we use this new Hard XT coating from Yabro. The second thing that we changed was the carbide substrate. We've gone from an 8% cobalt content to a 9% cobalt content. What that does is it gives a little bit more toughness for some of those uh, tougher materials in the machine, but that 9% cobalt content actually helps with the bonding of the HXT coating. The geometry side, we've changed the ball nose geometry a little bit. We have now what's called an S-shaped tip geometry. That's a hard one to say. But what we've done is made that tool a little bit freer cutting on the tip. So those of you that do a lot of 3D mold cavities, you guys know that when you're pushing the center of a ball through material, there's no surface footage, you get smearing of the material. With this new tip geometry, we're actually able to get better surfaces, better surface finishes, and better tool life. Uh, the last thing that we've d done to the design change is actually the radius tolerance. So uh, the old tools had about a 10 micron radius tolerance. Now the ball and the bull nose tools both have a 5 micron radius tolerance. On the high feed side, we don't have that tight tolerance because you don't need it because it's for high feed roughing. But uh, all in all, it's a huge change to the product family. The product's going to be launched uh, this fall on October 3rd. The, pro or the size ranges are going to be from 2 millimeters to 12 millimeters. We're going to have straight neck tools. We're going to have long reach tools. We're going to have stub tools. We're going to have the whole gamut of product available. So like I said, we're really, really, truly excited about this new expansion of the hard milling range. Uh, don't forget to check it out. Again, this is Jay Ball with Seco Tools. Have a good day.